The Cloudflare Regex Catastrophe unraveling the web of chaos. Okay, so I don't know what it is. Greetings, uh, Adida uh, here. Uh, and today, let's embark on a journey into the heart of Cloudflare's July 2nd, 2019 meltdown, where a seemingly innocent regex rule sends shockwaves through the internet. Brace yourself for a tale of code, chaos, and catastroph catastrophic consequences. Catastrophic catastrophic. Dude, I'm such an idiot. What a great intro, and I fumbled the bag. The guy literally wrote my intro for me, and I fumbled the bag. I fumbled the easiest bag of my lifetime. I fumbled the bag harder than Netflix did with The Witcher. I fumbled the bag harder than Amazon Prime did with Rings of Power. I fumbled the bag harder than Amazon Prime did with Wheel of Time. Damn. Damn, son. Damn, son. <clears throat> take two. Flip, can you take it out? Flip. Can you, can you take that previous part out? Greetings. Aditya here, uh, and today let's embark on a journey into the heart of Cloudflare's July 2nd, 2019 meltdown, where a seemingly innocent regex, no regex are innocent, rule sent shockwaves through the internet. Brace yourself for a tale of code, chaos, and cat, cat, f <laughs> Catastro catastrophic consequences. Gosh, my dude, dude, I can't say, dude, it's like saying compartmentalize. I cannot compartmental, compartment, com compartmentalize. Compartmentalize? Am I saying that right? Compartmentalize? I don't even think I'm saying it correct. I literally cannot say that word. I cannot say that word. It's impossible. The prelude, crafting the perfect storm of regexes. In the realm of web security, Cloudflare's engineers work uh, were hard at work, refining their defenses against cross-site scripting attacks. Little did they know that a seemingly harmless regex rule would turn their world upside down. Cross-scripting, uh, cross-site scripting, the art of injecting malicious code into websites, was the target. Uh, I will like to say that you should never think a regex is innocent. Regexes are, like, Unless if you're doing like slash D five, it ain't like, dude, regexes are the devil's lettuce for sure. Absolutely. Regex, sorry. Regex, regex, regex. Uh, <clears throat> the weapon, Re regex rules and their untold power. Cloudflare, a global content delivery network, relied on thousands of servers str uh, str strategically placed worldwide. Their web application firewall, WAF, a wet ass firewall. <laughs> Better get a mop and bucket for this one. Uh, was the Guardian armed with regex rules to sift through incoming requests? Regex, the symbol-based language of pattern matching, was their tool of catch malicious URLs. To catch malicious URLs. Okay. 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 Well, should have used a different tool, dog. Should have used Pickle. Regex are great. No sarcasm. May the Lord bless you in your various conquests using regex. For I know that regex... Prowl, allow, prowl around like a lion, seeking to devour whoever they can, okay? I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. It's, it's, it's a biblical proportioned catastrophe waiting to happen. The unseen threat. A mischievous regex rule emerges. Ooh, mischievous. Ooh, dog. Damn, dog. Ooh, damn, dog. An engineer to toiling away at cloud cloud. Flair's firewall team crafted a regex rule to, de to detect cross-site scripting attempts. This rule aimed to catch JavaScript keywords, uh, suspicious characters, and strings with equal signs, a potential indicator of malicious URL query strings. The engineer submitted this rule, unaware of the chaos that it would unleash. Dude, why? Like, oh, honestly, real talk? If you just had JavaScript keywords, why not string includes or contains, depending on your language? Suspicious characters, string contains. String with an equal sign, string contains. That's such a bad design choice? Absolutely. This is seeming terrible. The domino effect. From pull request to global catastrophe, the pull request was submitted, triggering a sequence of events. Continuous integration ran test on Team City, giving a green light. Peers reviewed, approved, and merged the changes. Again, <clears throat> I will say this, that let's just say you have 50 lines changed, and one of them, just one of them is a regex. For whatever reason, when people read code, they're like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, oh, 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 oh knit, we got a knit, oh, okay, okay, oh, what about this, oh, regex, fine, okay, <laughs> nobody knits a regex, nobody knits a regex, ever, they just, like, when someone sees a regex, it's almost like you just skip over it, it's, like, doesn't even... It's like, doesn't even, dude, I've seen so many people just LGMT, dude, oh my goodness, when I see a regular X line, I go blind. Exactly. Dude, you get, like, the blinders go up and you're like, I can't see it. I can't, it's not moving. I'm a T-Rex. I can't see it. It's crazy. We will bike shed over looking at a reg X. Literally four hour conversation on whether an, a variable should have an underscore or not. 
but nobody bats an eye at a multi-line regex. The domino effect. From pull request to... Okay, yeah, okay. The stage was set for global deployment. However, this was, it wasn't was your typical rollout. Wet-ass... Uh, wet-ass... Firewall. That's what it is. Rules had a unique power. Instant global deployment without the usual phase approach. <clears throat> Nice. Within minutes, the internet fell, uh, felt the tremors. Every Cloudfire server worldwide started redlining at 100% CPU. WAF failures surged, and the impact was cat uh, catastrophic. Up to 80% of customer traffic was dropped. Panic set in as engineers declared a P0 incident. Es Dude, I wish I knew what a P0... I when people just have these... I don't know what P0 means in this case. Is this like a specific Cloudfire thing? It's a P0. Like if someone yelled P0, priority zero, is that like high or low? It's just like DEF CON. I don't know if DEF CON 5 or 1 is, is, is worse. Oh, zero's the highest. Isn't that just like a... Is that not just a weird phrase we have? Just I just want to throw that out there. That when someone's like priority one, it's the highest priority. You're like, really? Seems kind of odd to me. Anyways, escalating uh, to every corner of the of Cloudflare. Okay, okay. The emergency response, race against time. With millions of websites relying on Cloudflare, the urgency was palpable. Engineers delved into the chaos, searching for the culprit. It took a mere 20 minutes, minutes to identify the wet-ass firewall process as the root cause. The decision was clear. Execute the global terminate, shut down WAF globally to restore norm normalcy. Uh, the outage was stemmed by the global terminant, but a wet-ass firewall remained disabled. The team meticulously validated, rolled back uh, the faulty rules, and re-enabled the wet-ass firewall globally after 40 minutes. The lesson was crystal clear. Regex, if misused, could bring down the digital realm. The real question lingered. How did this regex rule wreak such havoc? Okay, I want to see it. Let's see the rule. The regex rule, seemingly innocuous, harbored a dark secret. Man, okay, dude, this is, like, can you just stop waxing philosophical and just get to the effing point, okay? This is enough foreplay. Stop foreplaying me. Tell me the gosh darn thing that happened here. Uh, in, uh, let's see. In Regex, the greedy nature of matching combined with backtracking uh, on failure led to exponential computation. The servers faced increasing request lengths. The Regex uh, engine spiraled into performance abyss, causing CPU usage to skyrocket. Okay, can you give me like an example? What, what, does, that, what does this exactly mean? Read the Regex and die now. I want to see the Regex. To prevent history from repeating itself, Cloudflare transitioned to Regex engines guaranteeing linear runtime. The switch to Google 2's RE2, a regex engine based on deterministic finite automata, a DFA. Wow. Um, ensured, you know Canadians I've often ran into call them automatas? Uh, ensured that the matching time scaled linearly with input length, saving Cloudflare from future regex nightmares. RE2, great game. It was a great game. RE2 was one of my favorite. I beat that one. That was one of the few I actually beat full st straight up. Okay, hold on. Okay, since this one doesn't give me the meat and give it to me raw, what's this one? I just want to see the effing regex. Like, what was the effing regex? All right, do it. Hot? Did I? I just saw it. I just saw it. Okay. The CPU uh, exhaustion was caused by a single uh, wet ass firewall rule that contained a poorly written regex expression that ended up in uh, creating excessive backtracing. The regular expression uh, was the, at the heart of it. Okay. Whole, oh, there's so many question marks. Oh, there's so, oh my goodness, there's so many, how the hell did anybody approve that? Like, how did anybody look at that and go, yeah, that's pretty good. Is this a regex fork bomb? Because, okay, a question mark operator effectively means, like, what happens when, when something is not matched with that? Does it, like, go back and rerun something with the next one? Like, how does this actually go? Because in my head, what happens here, which, again, I'm not good enough at doing this, right? Like, I'm literally not good and looks good to me is that they would look for this, it would fail, go back to the beginning, look for this, fail, go back to the beginning, look, look. then it would do that all, and then it would also use NAN, and then go back and go da, 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 go through them all again, and then go to here, then go back and do it all again and go there. Regex calculator, does anyone have a regex calculator? That's not how it runs? Okay, I, I literally have no idea. I, 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 I avoid regexes like the plague. I genuinely only use them in extremely rare circumstances for the most benign stuff possible. Right. Um, wh what do I do here? I, I, again, I, is there like a graph? Is there a graph? Is there a graph? Top right. I, 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 I don't. I don't know. Regexer. You guys gotta get. You guys gotta remember. You gotta give me the simple ones. Because oh, that was the left. Okay, fair. Non-capture group. Group uh, multiple tokens together without creating a capture group. Non-capture group. Create multiple groups. Doing this. Non-capture group. Multiple tokens together. Doing this. Damn. I, the problem is I don't know what these I don't know what these ca uh, these capture groups do. I don't know what non-capture groups do, and why this is so evil. Dank memes. 
Dude, looks good to me. I know it looks good to me, dude. I honestly have no effing clue. Regex per. Regex per. One of these is going to be a porn site. One of them I'm just going to go to and it's going to be like, get big regexes now. Any character goes back in and goes through any character. What is this line? What is this line? Any character, any character equals any character. Damn, that's, uh, damn, go, damn, damn, son. By the way, just so everybody knows, this is why you shouldn't use reg. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't use regexes, okay? Because you're not good enough at using them. Okay, just write an effing contains. Look at this. Did you realize how easy it is to go like this? A string includes this, 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 this. Do you know how easy it is to write this right here? Like this isn't hard either to write. You have these things. Index of this. Literally, like literally index of this plus two equal sign and length is greater than plus two plus one. Like that's, that's, not, that's not a hard parser to write. It takes like three seconds to write that effing parser. This is just a bunch of contains. So stupid. It's so stupid. It's just so effing stupid. There's a video on it. Can you get me to a spot that's like good? Because I don't think we need to rewatch like an intro being like, and so then on this, on the, uh, <clears throat> on the olden days of, of bygone yore when this happened. If this is effing, if I get rickrolled. It's the spike. So the issue was with this last section here, we have a non-capturing group signified by the question mark and colon, okay. which specifies something to match for, but to not include in the output. Okay. Now that we know what a non-capturing group does, we can throw all of that out the window since it's actually irrelevant here. Whether or not there's a non-capturing group, the regex engine still needs to match the expression contained within, so we can safely ignore it. Oh, interesting. You had a dot star, non-capture group, dot star, not equal sign, dot star. Uh huh. Huh. We are already familiar with all of these characters, splitting yeah. the expression into four parts. The three dot stars each match any number of any character, and the equal sign matches for an equal sign. But what does. So that's like a. Are, is this like some n cubed operation going on here? Math ain't math, and I'm not mathing right now. Does the matching process actually look like? Intuitively, it makes sense to start with the first symbol, attempt to match, and then go to the next one. But how do we know how many characters to match? If we match yep. every character, it becomes impossible for the equal sign to match anything. And the answer is, we don't know. <laughs> Most direct. Hell yeah. Gex engines simply match as much as they can. Backtrack on. <laughs> this is so funny right here. Or, you know, you could have just used contain equal sign. Literally. <laughs> if you do look at this for a second, anything, equal sign, anything. You know what that does sound like? That does sound like index of equal sign and or contain equal sign. <laughs> it's just, it just, it's fucking the same thing. Failure and match slightly less the next time, repeating this until there is a- Bro really spent 13 minute video instead of just doing a contains, dude, I know. Match or all combinations are exhausted. To elaborate, when Cloudflare's regex attempts to match this example string, these are the steps which occur. First, this first dot star greedily matches all three characters. Next, the second dot star greedily matches the remaining zero characters. Then the equal sign fails as the previous matchers took the equal sign already. After this, the algorithm backtracks. The second dot star matched nothing, so there is nothing to backtrack. <laughs> However, the first dot star matched all three characters, oh, so we no. backtrack and see what happens when we match two. Then the second dot star can now match the remaining oh, X, no. but the equal sign still doesn't match anything. We backtrack again, this time matching zero characters with the second dot star, and it doesn't work. It's a great visualization. Um, here's the deal. I use a lot of dot stars. Just want to throw that out there. I use a lot of dot stars. Okay. I don't use them in production code, but I use them on the command line. Dot star should be forbidden. No, it, it's very, very useful, but that's wild. I'm putting this in my Twitter bio right now. I can't believe this line destroyed Cloud. That giddy, that line defeated Cloudflare. This is incredible. Hold on, let's so finish we this out. Again By the way, the first dot star video. matching only video. one character. Now the second dot star greedily takes the rest of the characters, and the equal sign is left with no match, and we need to backtrack again. This cycle continues a few more times until it finally finds the match in 23 steps. If the string matches one more x, the number of steps increases to 33, then 45, which you may notice is not linear. In fact, as the string to match gets longer, the increase in steps can potentially be exponential, easily. Uh, ain't no way. Oh, snap! Oh my goodness. 
Anyways, I think today's re- lesson today is uh, don't, don't do reg X. Like, just don't, just don't. Okay, if like I understand that there is the reg X that is just literally like, uh, what? Here, where's the pickle? Here, where's the where's the pickle one? There you go. Like I, uh, we all understand that uh, re- reg X, right? Like everybody gets this one. I get it. Everybody gets this, but that's never what you do in production. It's never what you do in production. That's the problem is almost all production reg X's are crazy. They're always crazy. They're always crazy. Because, because you know, like anything that's, t- you just, you have to take it to the logical extremes. For five numbers, that seems fine. Yes, I agree. Like if you literally are looking for a string that looks something like, you know, foo, bar, some set of numbers, baz. If you used a reg X to just say, end a set of numbers, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to complain about that. I don't think it's great, but whatever. That That's fine with me. I get that. Uh, it's, it's usually, it's actually usually more clear and fine uh why does that have the escape character because dude because it's 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 a string man strings you got to escape the slash to get a backslash you got to escape the slash to get an escape character so you have to double escape to get the single escape you know you know what i mean i know so yeah in production zip codes aren't five digits exactly in production this line becomes a disaster how big of it zip code uh reg x a stack overflow the place where you should copy your reg x's anyone any anyone like this idea is a valid zip code four is not nice nice or how about these ones are the uh, which one of those are correct i don't know I, I i don't know like i don't i don't want that i don't want that in my code base i don't want that in my code base okay you know what i want my code base something that i can parse with my eyeballs looks good to me that's that, that does even exist doesn't even exist okay anyways don't this is i'm reg x blind dude i am reg x honestly i'm reg x blind write a damn function honestly at that point it's just so easy to write a function with a few if statements you know what i mean the future of ai code it literally is the oh my goodness ais were trained off stack overflow stack overflow uses reg x's to solve everything oh no Oh, no.